In V2.6, you're asked to use Prim's algorithm in order to work out the minimum amount of cable so all these light fittings are connected. Now, you can detail this step by step. I tend to find it easy myself just doing it all at once. Now, I'm going to start at point C. I'm going to grow. That's the only one I've got there to E. And then the next smallest, next shortest is the 4 to the 3 and then down to the 5. It then remains for me to grow outwards, six Ys or six lengths there to D. So if I add those up, I've got a total length of three, four, six, and six, and five. And that will give me a total of 24 meters. In the next case, we're asked to try to maintain the minimum number of roads or distance of roads as we can so people can visit each of these destinations. Now, as you know by now, you can start at any point and you should find the same length as what I'm finding. I'm starting at Wester, this is on the left. So my shortest distance here, seven to Biggleswade. Now the next shortest is the eight. Clearly the shortest here, the six and the eight there, and in order to get to random, I have to include that, I'm gonna to have to include the length 10, and the shortest of the distances remaining to me from South Chimney to Bankstown is the 10 kilometer road there. So the length of road that I require, adding those up, 10 and seven, eight, six and eight and 10, will give me a total of 49 kilometres. In part C, you're given no alternative. Chimney and Random obviously have a pretty important road between them, so we'll just block that in. That has to be there. That forms part of our modified or compromised minimum standards, um, minimum spanning tree. So it kind of forces me to start at Chimney, I suppose. Choosing the shortest distance available to me, seven, and I have to grow the road, or the tree I should say, down to Bankstown. Adding those up in my modified spanning tree, I've got seven, and eight, six, and eight, and 10, and 15, and that will give me a total of 54 kilometers.